Okay, I'm just pulling out of the bungalow. Uh, here's the problems you have when you're your own contractor. I have um, a plumber I'm waiting on to get started on the two sinks that I need in the uh, shampoo room. They're very heavy, they're very large. They need to be plumbed properly, plus some plumbing repair that needs to be done on the drain, waste and vent, uh, just to make sure that we're in compliance with the code. So I'm waiting on that. And what that's holding up is the hardwood floors. I was just now getting ready to get the equipment lined up for next Monday to, with the idea that I'd have the floors fully sanded and filled with the screed, the material, the filler material, and a final sanding and ready for a vacuum and ready for a Friday night first coat uh, and then mild sanding and then a Saturday night second coat, another sanding, and then Sunday, same thing. So that by the time Monday rolled around, um, we would the following Monday, we would be ready. Well, the uh, plumber's kind of holding that up. And then to make matters worse, light fixtures that the tenant ordered um, for their salon, the fixtures aren't right. And they don't really have time to send them back and they don't have the desire to, to do that either uh, and wait the extra time that it takes. So I'm heading off now to check out some of these home improvement stores, which is not my favorite thing to do. Uh, but it's, it's, I'm heading out right now to see if I can find some kind of a decent replacement for these things. But the project is moving along very quickly. So here's very quickly what happened, the timeline. The timeline was this, that in January, uh, I got the idea when I came back from a vacation to make an investment in commercial real estate. And I started to look for different buildings and tenants at the same time. Well, it wasn't hard to come up with a tenant. It was very hard to come up with one that, that could afford um, some of the buildings and some of the things that they were looking for. So I felt like one of those television shows, uh, you know, where someone gives you their dream for a house and then you take them out and you show them their dream house and then you tell them it's like a million dollars more than what they want to spend. And then you say, now let's come back to reality. So that's where the idea of the uh, modular lease came from, make them the master lease lessee, the leaseholder, and that they could sublet three different units and if they did sublet, their rent to me would go up for one year, regardless of how long that client stayed. And they could afford to quadruple their space and add additional services to their business without increasing their costs. That was all hammered out by the end of January. We had that tentative agreement, essentially on a napkin. And we found one building and I went to work on that building and trying to make it happen. I got my offer to be entertained, which was a very low offer because of the condition of the property, but it had great bones, fantastic woodwork, um, great design, a lot of room, and you know, but it needed like a $10,000 boiler, $15,000 roof, you know, that kind of thing. Unfortunately, that deal fell through because I found lead paint, and as you know, uh, when you're a commercial property, everything costs more, and removal of lead paint is an absolute joke, but it's what they make you do and you pay a lot of money for it in New York State. So that deal fell through. And then we found another property that looked perfect for our purposes that had already gone through some of the metamorphosis we needed it to go through. The price was too high, but through offers and, and counter offers and a little bit of back and forth and making the argument that, hey, this is a cash kind of deal, that it's gonna be a one lump sum, no bank involved, they finally went for our numbers. So we made it work. And now we've been in there since April 15th and today's date is uh or since april yeah today's date is april 30th so here we are on the, i believe it's the 30th so here we are on the 30th and so we've been in here so in 15 days time all the carpet's been removed the electric the electronics electricity if you will electrician's work is all done and all the light fixtures are now going in place everything has its own circuit done by professional contractors and now we're just waiting for the the sinks, the floors, the walls are done, the radiators are done, the windows are done. Everything else inside that needs to be done is done. We can be ready to occupy and move the tent in by May 15th. Now keep in mind, the original date was July 1st, but because of this COVID nonsense that we've been going through, and it is nonsense, but it's because of this COVID nonsense, um, they closed them down like they did everybody and now the state's talking about allowing people to go back and make a living for themselves 
can't imagine I'm saying these words in the United States, but they're allowing them to make a living for themselves by going back to work as soon as May 15th. So of course the tenant contacts me and says, hey, I'd like to be in there by May 15th. So, oh, okay, no problem. We'll just condense a month and a half's worth of work into about two weeks, uh, maybe three weeks that we have at the outset. So we're working on it though. Let's just keep our heads up, chins up if you will. Let's go forward, see if we can't make this work. I'll make a couple videos back at the house to show you some of the progress they made. And please, please, please subscribe to the channel. We need subscribers to use you as a tool for something that's coming up.